figure out why getting the CISP associate is generally not a good idea for most people. When you pass the CISP exam without the required experience, you become an associate of ISC squared and you aren't actually allowed to mention the CISP in your designation on your resume because you aren't one. Much of the benefit of the certification comes from the backing of your experience in cybersecurity. If you can't even list the CISP, what good is it, honestly? I'm actually speaking from experience here because I did go the associate route and I probably spent more time explaining what that even means than it was worth. Honestly, nobody even knew what the associate of ISC squared meant. Employers don't care if you just pass the exam because you aren't certified. They care about the certification. Instead of trying to pass the CISP exam extremely early, you could be racking up cloud certifications or something more useful to employers that are still gonna get you those high pay bumps. Now you might be asking, is there a time when it makes sense to actually take the exam early before you have the experience? Yes, there's definitely a time when it actually makes sense. I generally don't even mention this 